Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So earlier this month uh, in May, Microsoft rolled out the Patch Tuesday cumulative update for Windows 10. And for Windows 10, um, the update was KB5026361, which rolled out on the 9th, 10th of May, depending um, on your region. Now, unfortunately, once again, the update 5026361 um, this month for Patch Tuesday is causing issues. And as many of you will know, the update is a mandatory compulsory automatic update, so it will be downloaded and installed automatically. Now, um, at this stage, the issues are not known issues, and Microsoft as, at this stage hasn't confirmed any of um, these latest uh, reports regarding issues with the update, but there are numerous reports over on Microsoft's uh, Feedback Hub and also posts on Reddit. And um, the majority and most of those posts um, are regarding a blue screen of death with the error code called Process 1 Initialization Failed. Now, um, there's not too much known about that um, error code with that stop error, that blue screen of death. But if we head over to a outdated article now um, by Microsoft, for the actual um, error process initialization failed. This was for Windows 7 back in the day. But um, the cause according to this um, outdated article, uh, Microsoft said back then, this issue occurs because the boot cat.cache file is corrupted or because the size of the boot cat.cache file is changed since the last successful start. Now that's all they give regarding the issue. And... Uh, um, for the resolution and the workaround, which um, at this stage doesn't, we don't know if this will actually work on Windows 10 or not, because as mentioned, this was for Windows 7. They say to work around this issue, start the computer from the disk drive or from the USB drive by using the Windows installation media, delete the bootcat.cache file and then restart the computer. And according to Microsoft, that is the workaround. But as mentioned, not known if this workaround will actually work on Windows 10 or not. Now, um, as mentioned, there are numerous reports over on Reddit and Microsoft's uh, Feedback Hub. And um, another error code that users are complaining about um, when trying to install the update, um, obviously the update is failing to install and they are getting, getting an error code called 0x800F0922. And uh, um, obviously with that, um, the update is failing to install and then the computer will want to restart itself and then try and restore the update and off obviously then it just goes into that update loop and that update cycle and the error code is then generated now as mentioned this is unfortunate um, because uh, microsoft hasn't acknowledged any of these reports and it's not a known issue over on their health dashboard page but i'll keep my eye on this one um, um if you are comfortable you can try out if you are getting the blue screen of death you can try this workaround out um, I'll leave a link to this um, page for this error code, which, as mentioned, is a little bit outdated, but nonetheless, I'll leave that down below if that would be of interest. And I'll keep a closer eye on this one. And if Microsoft does officially confirm um, the blue screen of death with the errors, um, the error codes um, mentioned in this video, I'll obviously post and keep you updated. And obviously, we hope that they do roll out a fix sooner than later in an up-and-coming update. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.